What's up, y'all? Um, as you see over here to my side, man, I'm on the Timberland website. It's the first day of Black History Month. I'm rocking the Invisible Man. You know, I might have to stand up so you can see the Ralph Ellison at the bottom because that's extremely important as he is my personal um, greatest American, the greatest novel ever written is Invisible Man. Let's argue. All right, so this is supposed to be about Timbaland. And interestingly enough, it's not necessarily about uh, Black History Month, but there is an element that I think is going to be about Black History Month. So this is kind of like a gameplay, and I don't typically do gameplay at all. I talk about sneakers. I talk about the industry. I give you business tips and stuff like that. But I saw this, and I was like, I clicked on it, and when I got started... I realized that maybe you didn't know anything about it. I mean, and I don't have I only have a few uh, subscribers to the channel, but I can share this information and maybe somebody else will pick up on it and you guys will be able to go through and do more than I am going to do in this setting. But I'm going to go through this. I clicked on it. I haven't done it before. So this is new to me and you'll be seeing everything at the same time that I'm seeing it. Maybe I hope the sound is going to be okay. But... I saw this on the homepage of the site. Actually, I was on Vans. I came over to Timberland's website and I was like, man, this looks interesting. I've been trying to find information to share on different brands as opposed to having a sneaker site that only talks about Yeezy and Nike. So I do enough videos on those brands. So let's focus on these other brands. All right, enough talking. Forget all that. All right, I'm clicking the button for start the journey. And it's explore our story, relive the past, unlock the future. Tim's trails and bang i'm starting the journey and then it goes to the second page and it gives us some coordinates right here but none of that is clickable but when you click explore now you get the messaging over on the side there's no right or wrong the path you take is up to you which i really love i love that um now i'm going to make this bigger for one second because you got collab city Green Dream, Hip Hop. I'm not sure what this is. This is Tokyo, London, Italy, New England origins. And you guys know, definitely, I'm going directly to hip hop. Follow the footprints of a famous yellow boot from East Coast hip hop to Hollywood glitz and glamour. Um, keyboard, WASD, right? So, WASD, uh, spacebar is going to be interact. And my mouse, it's gonna be got it. All right, I got it. So let's turn it up a little bit. And I hope this is picking up. So, do I interact? I can't remember what I'm supposed to push for interact. Where am I going here, yo? All right, let's go forward, W. Yeah, I mean, it's not like this generic music. Oh, yo, all right, so I'm pushing W. Hey, yo, welcome to New York. It was on these streets that hip hop started. And it makes sense. Music comes at you from everywhere here. Cars, oh. windows, sidewalks, bodegas. It's all about expressing yourself. I mean, who we are is literally painted on the walls. It's the clothes you wear. From baggy jeans to the army suits, suits, gold, gold chains, chains tins, puppy, puppy jackets. jackets. <laughs> I couldn't narrate that. I'm talking to. It looks like you know this already. Yeah, I do. Anyways, I got to bounce, but take a look around. City's, City's a lie. Word. Word. All right. I mean, you didn't have to have the trash on the ground, but I see Fat Joe up there. So I'm exiting out of this guy. Walk around. Oh, then I can go backwards, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to walk the loop. All right, I gotta go up to the Fat Joe and see what's cracking. Space bar. Growing up, New York City, 90s. Fat Joe and that beard, man, it, it busts. I'm not dying my beard. I made it, as far as I'm concerned. I ain't dying my beard.
hip hop was created by the voices. You know what I'm saying? People you never get to hear, that's who you represent. Hip hop music is the most powerful art form in the world. Yo, this is two minutes. I ain't sitting through all this. I appreciate that, Fat Joe. I'm backing up. Anything over here that I needed to see? Going forward. Let's turn. Oh, I think I'm stuck. Oh, you know what? This crown. Let's go to the crown. See what's cracking with this crown. Hitting it big. Timbaland's popularity soon spread from the streets to hip hop. The boots were name dropped in popular tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel that. I know that. Hitting it big and becoming part of an unofficial hip hop dress code. Funny enough. All right. So, out in California, in San Diego, I mean, the weather is like 75 year round. And then it gets hot in the summer out in El Cajon and different places like that. But I know you guys are like turn, dog. Don't don't sit here and just do this kind of stuff. I don't think you have anything to do right here. Can I go inside this building? No. All right. Let's go over here and see if I can interact. Nope, can't interact with that. But I'm gonna go in. So it, it, it's funny when you sit back and think about it, in California, our hip hop scene was pretty much DJ Quick, you know. The hip hop scene was huge up in the Bay Area, but San Diego's eight hours from the Bay Area. Nobody's going up there to experience hip hop with, you know, like Mac Dre and Mac Mall and all those dudes from like Vallejo and E40. And then you had like the hyphy uh, movement. Well, Fizz wasn't called hyphy at that time, but dudes were rocking Tim's in the Bay. People were rocking Tim's in L.A. And in San Diego, a lot of us dudes that played college basketball, we played junior college basketball at the time, we were wearing Tim's. And um, we were like, you know, I get two or three pair of Tim's and I wear them with shorts. I mean, and everybody did that. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. I know you guys are like, dude, go into the hole. Bronx. Ghetto Gastro. Yo, I heard I didn't get to go there when I went to New York last year. Yeah, coming from the Bronx, you know, hip hop, we, we, we come from the roots of it, you know? All right, now we going, so I'm going to go ahead and go inside, and let's turn. I already walked the loop. Am I back to where I'm supposed to go here? Oh, yo, the yellow boot developed to withstand, and I got like a little boot point over here. To withstand the bitterly cold and wet winters of New England, every component used in the classic sense inch wheat boot was strategically selected and assembled to deliver uncompromising waterproof performance, which we never had to worry about in San Diego. Silicone treated new buck leather, direct injection soles, rust proof brass eyelets, yada yada yada, and I have collected the original. Nice, only nine boots left to unlock. The future trail. Oh wow, so it really is like a, a game. Let's keep let's keep rolling then. So now I feel motivated to see more here and go. Everything old is new again. Do I get to interact with this? No. Oh, I think that's something telling me to go this way. Can I connect? Can I collect that? No? No. All right, open. Sesame chicken. Do I get to let, collect this? No. Mm -mm. Walk the loop. Hey, there's no music now. So I did come this way before. I collected that boot. I'm going out then.
this is actually kind of dope. I mean, oh, Los Angeles. All right, let's see what's popping here. This should be interesting. Boom, got me another boot. Jimmy Choo, Timberland and Uber luxury brand. Jimmy Choo exists at opposite ends. Unisex roster featured a trio of boots with various Choo embellishments splashed around the collars while the fourth and final was... Yeah, this is kind of dope. Am I showing you guys too much and you should go and do this yourself? Nah, I'm collecting the Jimmy Choo. Man, let's keep going. I'm going to find the rest of this stuff here. Suit the space bar. That is not the kind of car people hopped in. Is that all I'm getting right there, yo? Walk of Fame is Timberland's cultural cachet skyrocketing into a new millennium. Exposed to a much wider other musicians who weren't just going back to Cali. Their Tim's also came along for the cross country ride. Fame. Alright, we good with that. I want I want my boots, yo. Let's back up. No boot to grab right there. Alright, so that just changed the music. I was able to go in and change the music. Let's go over here and see what's popping. Do I get to take a seat? No? I don't get to take a seat? Is that it? That's all that's up in here? Oh, there goes the exit. Oh man, that's kind of dizzying. And I'm back out to the front. So I got two boots in there. I finished up Heritage. Where do I want to go next? I think I'm going to do this independent of being over here. I'm going to the Collab City. Explore Timberland's most iconic collabs. Nowhere to go behind me? No. These things always make me feel kind of claustrophobic. North Face. Well, the North Face is making their own shoes now, so... I'd be surprised if any kind of collapse coming from that again. Then again, North Face and Timbaland are owned by VF Corporation, so maybe we will get more. But let's see. I'm sitting up here thinking like Timbaland can't do a collab, which is silly. Yo, I need to go and find this boot. Where is it? The SpongeBob thing? Nah, not for me, son. <laughs> Mitchell and Ness. Space bar. Boom. Kick the glass down. Yo, I think that's the uh, green stride. Yeah. Original yellow boot. Lightweight comfort. And I get to collect that. That's the only joint I needed from inside of there. Only seven boots left to unlock the future trail. All right, that's it. This is getting too long. I know you guys are like, nah, Chris, we're not going to sit here with you this long. But, I mean, it's it's pretty interesting. I'm learning a lot about the brand. And uh, it definitely feels like gameplay. And the game that I really play more than anything else is Need for Speed. You know, so... Space bar. Engineered garments times Oxford Brogue. 2018. Do I get me a shoe out of this? Do I get a shoe? No shoe. That's alright. I forgive you for not giving me a shoe. Let's back up. I am going to go over here and see what's popping on this. Beeline times 6 inch boot. Pharrell Williams, longtime lover of Timbaland. Happy Earworm. Yeah, okay. That's it. Let's back up. Let's exit out of this. And I think I'm going to exit out and wrap this video up. Anyway, if you guys want to do this, I'm going to put the link to it down in the description. And you can go through and check it out. Will I 
kind of finish this up? I'm not sure. I might, I might, because I really want to know if I can get like a super big discount or something. But anyway, I just think it's a really cool feature from Timbaland. And you spend a lot of time on the site. You get to interact. It's a lot of branding as far as the marketing aspect of it. A lot of branding going on here. And um, this is actually a really cool concept. Um, it's like being inside of, remember when ComplexCon went digital? It's kind of the same thing where you interact, but this interface is much smoother than ComplexCon. But ComplexCon was so big on the inside of that digital universe um, that this is just easily contained inside of the site and Tim's Trails. It, this is dope. It's dope. I like it. Will I go back and finish it? I don't know. Maybe. 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 We'll see. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Let me go to this bar and see Trails, How to Play, Shop. Yeah. That's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. For real. Peace. You can let me know what you thought about it in the comments, man. I mean, and that was a long video. It's like, who wants to sit through all that?